day we believe that according to the current estimation the mass of the galactic center the center of our milky way galaxy is uh, is around 4 million solar masses however uh, this is uh, in fact a wrong concept orbiting mass will be always much much uh, s- uh, smaller than the central mass see our solar system if uh, the total mass of the solar system is 100 100 unit then sun itself is more than 99 percentage Na- more than 99 percentage of the mass of the uh, solar system in fact is situated in the center of the solar system that is uh, most of the mass of of the uh, solar system is sun itself in fact this is very important this type of mass distribution is very important uh, uh, for the stability of a system uh, we know that uh, our estimations says that Uh, our milky way consists of around 200 to 400 billion stars and their surrounding orbiting planets also if uh, if you take the median if you take uh, if you consider 300 billion stars in our milky way galaxy then the 4 million solar mass for the galaxy center is totally unacceptable it is totally wrong concept there must be in fact uh, the that kind of mass distribution does not work if that it, it we can we can compare it's like a, uh, an elephant orbiting around an ant our our uh, current estimation of 400 4 million solar mass for the supermassive black hole in the center of our milky way galaxy and uh, uh, 300 to 400 uh, billion stars orbiting around the uh, 400 uh, sorry 4 million solar mass is just like an elephant orbiting around the uh, and and it is quite not possible it's absolutely wrong idea now the problem is that we measure uh, the mass of the galactic center is uh, by considering orbiting stars uh, 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 or you know an orbiting stars mass its speed and distance from the milky way galaxy in the center of the milky way galaxy like that so here the issue is that uh, there's a uh, the speed uh, is uh, is not helping helpful uh, to uh, f- uh, to calculate the mass of the center of the uh, uh, the galactic center in fact uh, as i said in my pre- one of my previous videos uh because of the gravity a galactic center maintains a dense re- region of ether around it in fact the galactic center sits inside a gigantic ether bubble therefore this this can explain the orbital behavior of the s2 star 
is to start is a flat uh, rotation curve says that uh, uh, stars orbit stars uh, maintain almost uh, stars orbit around the milky way galaxy uh, nearer and farther stars orbiting around the milky way galaxy almost uh, same speed that is called a flat rotation curve you the, the, know this is the the reason for that because of the etheric den a friction the closer you go to the uh, galactic center you will experience more friction and uh, as you go farther from the galactic galactic center the either uh, friction also reduces so the closest star experience maximum either friction uh, this uh, density of either reduces as you go uh, away from the as the distance increases from the galactic center so this can explain the flat rotation curve so to calculate the uh, mass of the uh, galactic center in fact we need to consider the farthest star uh, the uh, the farthest uh, the uh, the farthest star's mass uh, and speed so to calculate the mass of uh, the galactic center we have to uh, consider the farthest uh, the edge of the, uh, the stars orbiting at the edge of the galactic center can provide a better estimation about the mass of the galactic center <coughs> uh, so uh, this can explain uh, uh, dark matter mystery in fact uh, just like uh, our uh, solar system i believe that uh, 98 probably more than 99% of the total mass of the uh, so uh, milky way galaxy is the is situated in the galactic center itself i repeat if uh, just like our solar system most of the mass of the uh, gal- galaxy our galaxy is situated in the galactic center itself so uh, the flat uh, to explain the flat rotation curve we d- d- we do not need dark matter in fact uh, dark matter the more the missing ma- matter is in fact situated in the galactic center itself <coughs> it can provide a better explanation for the uh, Uh, orbital behavior of the s2 star because each time when the s2 star approaches the perihelion region because of the either friction each time when the s2 star approaches the perihelion region it is slightly skid forward and this skidding is the reason for the uh, orbital behavior of uh, the s2 star the same thing up uh, is a uh, place to uh, in the, the same way in the same way we can uh, explain the uh, orbital behavior of the mercury also in fact uh, we it uh, uh, when we uh, when we add ether into the picture we do not uh, need uh, Uh, the gravity relativistic uh, ideas to explain the orbit, uh, orbital behavior of uh, uh, s2 star or uh, this uh, uh, mercury's orbit all 
uh, in fact <coughs> when i still developed uh, relativistic theories he completely followed or believed the result of the michelson morley experiment he believed that uh, michelson morley's uh, the result of the michelson morley experiment is accurate and so that's why he developed uh, in the based on that the negative result based on the negative result of the michelson morley experiment i stand there for the relativistic his relativistic ideas in fact once you uh, uh, i will re- repeat uh, about either how i reached the conclusion that either assist uh, i will explain i will explain that for you my viewers yeah nuclear reactions must defect whether in a nuclear reaction nuclear uh, fission reaction fusion reaction or in a particle accelerator uh, experiment or stellar collisions neutron star collisions black hole collisions all this events release uh, a mass defect my all this create mass defect <coughs> uh if you uh, now uh, einstein said that matter and energy are two different manifestations of the same thing but i have a disagreement on that now let's let's uh, think about uh, a nuclear uh, reaction where mass defect in a nuclear reaction for example uh, consider a uh, nuclear fission reaction <coughs> when a when an optimum energy uh, neutron uh, collide a 92 uranium 30 uh, 35 uranium 35 nucleus it splits into two it uh, splits into two uh, to produce two daughter nuclei and uh, neutrons they release neutrons alpha particles beta particles anti neutrino etc here what we see when we see very closely what we is that what we see is that the is the uh, speed of the particles mass defect and mass defect uh, makes the uh, the product fragments or product for particles uh, to very high speed here when a mass defect happens it leaves it gives high kinetic energy energy to the product uh, particles or product fragments so <coughs> uh, it's just like a, 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 an explosion for example when a when a when a uh, explosive when a bomb explodes for example when a bomb explodes a chemical i'm talking about a chemical bomb a, when a chemical bomb explodes the explosive material Uh, uh, detonate uh, uh, very f- uh, very high speed and the material the uh, explosive material is converted into uh, superheated gas it's a change in the state of matter if, if uh, the explosive material is if uh, the explosive material is in a uh, 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 solid state or liquid state when it explode it will convert into superheated gas in fact it's a conversion of uh, st- the st- change of change in the state of matter uh, if we are not aware of different states of matter is one uh, for example one explosion is happening somebody was observing the explosion the person who uh, observing this event does not uh, know about uh, the different t- states of matter he can easily uh, Uh, mislead to it he will uh, misinterpret into conversion of matter into uh, energy we can think like that but we know that uh, there are different states of matter so when explosion happens we know that a solid state or a liquid state uh, chemical explosive is converted into superheated gas 
so we since we know the different states of matter we are not uh, thinking it's a change we are not thinking that it's a matter energy conversion in fact uh, is this chemi- a nuclear explosion also uh, the, the same uh, thing applicable for a nuclear reaction also so when uh, einstein developed uh, this mass energy equivalence theory he was uh, not aware of the either even the people now even now who are not aware of the existence of ether so uh, as i said yeah i uh, i i said early as i said early um, uh, you can watch my other videos i uh, explained in medi- uh, uh, multiple videos i uh, um, discussing about this mass energy uh, uh, how nuclear energy released i uploaded many multiple videos in my channel so uh, you can uh, go and check the, uh, that videos explaining uh, how a mass defect uh, uh, release energy how nuclear energy is released the mechanism or the process behind the release of nuclear energy so <coughs> uh, uh, i my con- conclusion is i uh, con- my conclusion is that every mass defect in the universe whether in a particle collision experiment or in a uh, 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 nuclear uh, re- reactions uh, whether in a uh, fission reaction fusion reaction or uh, stellar collisions black hole collisions all these events uh, uh, the events which create mass defect is di- indirectly converted into either the mechanism behind the uh, the, the, uh, the expansion when a, when a mass defect happens the mass defect is converted into either the the interesting thing is that in the span the ratio of the expansion is so huge for example a gram of matter can be converted into a cubic kilometer volume of matter in millionth of a second that means in the expansion the expansion rate is so huge when this happens the product fragments act like a, a high energy projectiles and when this projectile hit the surrounding particles of matter it results in the generation of a uh, large, large amount of heat in fact this is what ha- what is happening in fact when we closely observe a nuclear fission reaction or fusion reaction what we see is that the particle the product particles are moving in a very high speed is like just like a, in a uh, is just like in a uh, chemical explosion when it explodes it when it detonates it it push or it sprays the p- product fragments in every direction in very high speed so when this product particle particles hits the surrounding particles of matter particles it results in the generation of uh, uh, radiations Uh, x rays uh, gamma rays high energy photons so when we very closely observe a, a mass defect and the release of nuclear energy we cannot see any kind of uh, uh, mass defect as einstein suggested so the mass mass energy equivalence concept is it actually in fact is a wrong concept i i want to tell you another thing is that uh, Uh, einstein i respect einstein he was a, i am a great fan of einstein uh, uh, he was a, a great uh, genius um, he uh, is the first person who uh, 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 discovered the, uh, or uh, pro- uh, predicted about the time dilation gravitational time di- dilation um, uh, uh, matter uh, uh, we can uh, produce or a small amount of matter can yield a tremendous of a large amount of energy or a matter consists of a large amount of energy all these ideas uh, similarly gra- uh, gravitational lensing starlight uh, uh, bending all this phenomena einstein uh, is the first person who predicted all this so he, re- he was really a genius but uh, my uh, i have uh, 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 
ഐ ഹാവ് ഡിസഗ്രിമെൻ്റ് വിത്ത് ഹിസ് എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻസ് ഹി ഹി ഗീവ് ഹി ഗീവ് എസ് എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ഓൺലി ഐ ഹാവ് മൈ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഈസ് വിത്ത് ഹിസ് എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻസ് നോട്ട് ഐ എം നോട്ട് എഗെൻസ്റ്റ് ഐ ഇൻസ്റ്റൈൻ ഐ നോട്ട് ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഐ എം ആക്ച്വലി ഐ എം എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഫാൻ ഓഫ് ഐൻസ്റ്റൈൻ സോ ഐ എം ഐ എം ഓൺലി ഡിസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ഓൺലി ഡിസഗ്രീ മീൻസ് വിത്ത് ഹിസ് എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻസ് ഓൺലി ഐ എം ഐ റിയലി ലൈക്ക് ഐ സ്റ്റൈൻ ഐ ഐ ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് എനി ബിക്കോസ് പീപ്പിൾ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ കമൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഐ ഡോ നോട്ട് ഹാവ് സച്ച് ഫീലിംഗ് ഫോർ ഐ എം ഐ ലൈക്ക് ഐ എം എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഫാൻ ഓഫ് ഐ സ്റ്റൈൻ സോ എനിവേ ഐ തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ മൈ ചാനൽ ഐ ഹാവ് പബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ വീഡിയോസ് അബൌട്ട് Uh, how uh, nuclear energy is released uh, 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 so uh, you can watch all the all the um, uh, concepts uh, in my channel uh, 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 i think uh, we are uh, in a um, right track now i think uh, we will progress our uh, uh, scientific uh, research uh, scientific uh, development uh, uh, i think that uh, uh, time machine kind of technologies uh, we can uh, we can uh, there is a possibility of making time uh, time machines uh, time manipulation devices i um, i read uh, many articles that i to say that uh, ufo was uh, then uh, uh, ufo scan alter its surrounding uh, time when we uh, many people have that testimony that says that uh, they have experienced time uh, 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 the ultra alter, alteration of time the flow of time so uh, i believe that uh, ufos they have uh, the, the technology the time manipulation technology uh, probably um, i uh, uh, i think that i believe that uh, to uh, travel interstellar distances vast distances we need to be uh, mastered in uh, mainly two areas one is uh, a revolutionary propulsion uh, technology and the second one is the time manipulation technology once these two are met once we have a, a, a technology to manipulate the flow of time and we, if we have a technology a revolutionary propulsion technology it will uh, enable us to travel by extremely vast distances because uh, where the people city sits inside the the, uh, the, the vehicle the do not uh, feel the flow of time uh, at the same time if we have a, a revolutionary propulsion technology uh, once we these are these both are met meet uh, a time uh, manipulation uh, technology and uh, a pro- propulsion technology will be able to make interstellar uh, uh, travels so uh, 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 like many others i also believe uh, the uh, ufo phenomena is a re- real and uh, now uh, uh, nasa and pentagon and other uh, um, organizations started to publicly accept its its authenticity uh, uh, probably we'll be able to develop such kind of uh, technologies in future uh, um, uh, in fact we uh, uh, because of this mass and equivalence uh, concept and uh, relativistic uh, theories uh, i think we human lost almost 100 years we were for uh, for almost for 100 years we were behind this uh, relativistic concepts is misled us uh, in a very um, so we uh, i would say i'm sorry to say that for 100 years we lost our uh, progress because of we were following the relativistic uh, ideas 
so we completely ignored we completely ignored the possibility of either so we missed almost 100 or we uh, lost our 100 years of progress in uh, in our science and technology so uh, 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 at least now we again uh, this either uh, uh, theory is coming uh, again very with a very full uh, 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 strength we can find many uh, uh, evidence for that i discuss many evidence for the either in my uh, in my uh, cha- videos in my channel uh, we can actually uh, measure the density of either in fact uh, for example uh, there are also many ways one of the way is the i think uh, the hydrogen uh, 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 fine structure Uh, fine structure is very very precisely we can measure the change uh, the uh, frequency uh, the, uh, the fo- emitted photons frequency will change with the high so slight variations in altitude will change the frequency slightly so uh, very even a very small height difference can make a big different measurable difference because uh, the density of either near the earth is high and it decreases with the uh, uh, with the uh, altitude so uh, when uh, an electron vibrates in a high a, a denser a denser uh, either de- high either density region uh, it will uh, because of the either friction it will emit uh, it, uh, the either stops uh, vibrating very fast it prevents uh, uh, operating fast so uh, an electron uh, an uh, electrons in an atom when it vibrates if it in a, in a high either density region because of the either friction it, it will emit a long wavelength radiation so as you go as you increase your, your altitude because uh, the density of is uh, either density of either decrease of the altitude uh, the the, uh, the wavelength of the photon which is emitted by the atom will uh, as you go up or uh, as you uh, as you go uh, as you increase the altitude since uh, either density decrease of the altitude the photon uh, electron will emit a short wavelength radiation so uh, that is observable uh, even a very very small altitude change for example even centimeter uh, 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 scale uh, differences in altitude can change the wavelength of uh, the uh, light the emitted light so i think is a better this uh, uh, hydrogen uh, fine sp- uh, structure we can use the hydrogen fine structure i believe so fine structure is very uh, i think a better uh, is a better uh, option to uh, measure the uh, 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 density difference of either in a different altitude altitudes similarly another thing is that uh, the wave nature of matter uh, i believe that wave nature of matter is somehow related with the uh, 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 the density either in the uh, in space for example uh, uh, electron diffraction tube electron diffraction tube uh, produces uh, diffraction rings diffraction rings so if we have uh, uh, two electron diffraction tubes and if you operate at the same uh, voltage at the same operation operate operation voltage uh, to uh, i'll repeat again at the same operate operation voltage two electron diffraction tube uh, at a different altitude it produces a slightly different uh, wavelength uh, electrons the wavelength of the diffraction the 
the wavelength produced by the electrons will slightly change with the altitude in a high either uh, uh, either density region for example near the earth uh, it will uh, the hydrogen uh, uh, sorry this electrician electron diffraction to produce a, a different uh, wavelength uh, uh, waves and as you go up it will uh, create a different uh, wavelength uh, diffraction uh, rings so uh, there are so many ways to uh, uh, measure the density of either in, uh, in my book i uh, all this i mentioned in my book my book is coming uh, soon i will uh, discuss so i am discussing all this in my book you can read my book uh, i think it's a revolution is going to a big big revolution is going to happen i'm not considering is my personal uh, uh, personal gain is i actually i consider is consider consider as a humanities uh, achievement scientific achievement i think we are in a good, correct uh, uh, more accurate track and uh, we will be able to develop uh, different kinds of technologies in future for example um, uh, uh, i another thing i want to tell is that uh, uh, ufo uh, ufo uh, crafts they are not making any sound uh, they can uh, uh, their uh, peculiar behavior of ufos says that they have uh, they are using some kind of different kind of uh, propulsion uh, technologies i believe that i my i i i, I think that Uh, is the ufo phenomena the or ufos are utilizing the denser region of uh, ether near massive bodies for their hovering and uh, and propulsion in fact uh, uh, they are very uh, highly advanced uh, civilization i believe i many uh, like many others i also believe ufos are uh, vehicles of uh, extremely advanced civilizations they are uh, probably uh, mm, uh, far ahead of our technologies they are uh, well aware of the space willing either all and other uh, all phenomena much better than us so they have i, I believe they have developed uh, many uh, yeah, wonderful wonderful uh, tech, uh, technologies they are exploiting many many uh, natures uh, the Uh, you know different way this kind of uh, either uh, different either gradient uh, near massive bodies for for example for flotation or hovering and propulsion and um, another interesting thing i want to uh, discuss is that um, i think that uh, Uh, the another kind of a propulsion technology uh, that also that also i i i, I discussed in my uh, one of my videos uh, that is i think one two years old video i published a video on uh, i think uh, two years back about the ufo how ufo uh, propulsion technology so that you can watch in my channel uh, in the hat i say that uh, the, the mist of must effect must effect uh and in fact mass effect create release uh, either so without the generation of heat without the generation of heat uh, we can directly extract the uh, expansion or explosion of the either you know i i, I think that uh, mm, uh, a nuclear explosions uh, generate a lot of uh, heat uh, because uh, when uh, the mass effect happens the either as uh, uh, my uh, missing matter explodes violently and it uh, makes uh, it uh, uh, it makes product particles in a very high speed and it product particles collide with the surrounding matter and it creates a generator uh, th- thermal energy in fact uh, i believe that the advanced civilizations like uh, they can uh, uh, create a propulsion it is a very uh, revolutionary idea Uh, and very highly advanced civilization civilization perhaps they can you they can create a pure fix pure propulsion pure propulsion without any heat is very interesting very very interesting uh, 
അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് സിവിലൈസേഷൻ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഐ ബിലീവ് ദ അച്ചീവ്ഡ് ദ ടെക്നോളജി ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് ദ ഹൗ ദേ ഹവ് ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ദ ടെക്നോളജി ടു മേക്ക് പ്രൊപ്രഷൻ വിത്തൗട്ട് ഹീറ്റ് സിഗ്നേച്ചർ ദേ വിൽ മേക്ക് മാസ്റ്റ് ഇഫേറ്റ് ബട്ട് ദിസ് മാസ്റ്റ് ഇഫേറ്റ് ഡസ് നോട്ട് ക്രിയേറ്റ് Uh, they does not uh, propel or uh, it it will not it does not uh, uh, spray particles they can extract they can directly extract the propulsion the ether explosion they can directly take advantage of the propulsion of, uh, created by the uh, explosion of or detonation of uh, uh, ether i believe that perhaps uh ufo uh, propulsion perhaps uh, something uh, like this I, i believe they can uh, without heat signature without producing heat they can convert the mass effect into propulsion they can convert they can convert mass effect into pure propulsion so that's probably that's the reason why they can uh move very high speed and also i believe ufos are in a situ also ufos are situated in, in a inside a bubble ufos has a, a bubble is by city the ufos are sitting inside a bubble so that's why i said uh, by I, i have read i read many art, uh, articles and i also watched some testimonials from ufo abductees that uh, they says that Uh, they experience a time uh, uh, flow because uh, when when they are in the neighborhood of uh, in a proximity of uh, ufos they experience time uh, uh, time flow uh, you know uh, the flow of time radio the dial time dilation kind of uh, thing so i think that bubble when a ufo uh, Yeah, is near us or if you go near a uh, ufo you feel a time uh, alteration because of the either but is it creates a bubble either bubble denser either bubble so you know tones vibrate at a slower rate and uh, it may uh, feel uh, time dilation so uh, i uh, so i i think uh, the ufos are a kind of a time machine they have the time uh, manipulation uh, technology so such uh, the, such a development as i think we are in a uh, proper direction to think uh, all the possibilities of uh, uh, this kind of technologies probably we will be able to develop such technologies with the uh, keeping in mind that either is a real thing not uh, 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 so uh, in fact all phenomena all phenomena which are explained or predicted by the theory of theory of relativity can be explained by just adding either into the picture i uh, as i mentioned uh, you should, uh, in my uh, videos you please watch my old videos uh, i explained so many interesting thing uh, in this uh, in the ch- in this uh, videos i uh, uh, upload multiple videos uh, uh, multiple shorts videos uh, very short videos it uh, so, uh, some seconds only some eight eight seconds but uh, if you post or uh, you can read you can uh, you can uh, read that thing i explain many phenomena uh, for example dark uh, ma- dark matter dark energy uh, nuclear energy time dilation uh, perception of perihelion uh, mercury orbit at, uh, at uh, gravitational and time dil- dilation uh, gravitational dil- red shift and uh, most of those phenomena are there i explained in my uh, channel i upload multiple videos you can watch the those videos and uh, black hole uh, black hole is a very interesting thing um, uh, how uh, why a black hole is black that is a very interesting thing because black hole is a, a concentrated mass so it's very massive and it's very concentrated very very much concentrated mass so the density of either uh, 
uh, near a black hole is so high that uh, uh, in fact uh, I, I, I want to tell you yesterday I was I, I was uh, discussing about the constancy of light speed in fact in fact light speed is not a constant uh, a, for example if light uh, light travels from one edge, edge to the opposite edge of a galaxy for example it will be traveling through different uh, either density regions when it reaches near a star uh, density will be high so uh, light uh, will bend I mean light will refract and uh, it, when it uh, reaches a near uh, uh, travel farther from the star it will become is it will be a speed will become high because uh, the, the density is low and if it become comes near a black hole uh, because of uh, high uh, either density again it will become slow but if uh, a light beam stay directly go to a black hole you know what will happen because uh, the density of either near a black hole for the po- close proximity of a black hole is so high that light will completely become stand still that is very interesting i think that this can explain why a black hole is black because a uh, near a black hole the proximity of black hole the the close around the close sur- surrounding of the black hole is the density of ether is so high that a uh, light uh, light will become st- light will be stopped because of the density of e- ether light cannot pass through that e- e- this, that, that is like this if uh, a light a photon um, uh, when it reaches near the uh, star a black hole uh, uh, if it uh, very close it will be it will be completely stopped as if i go in a certain distance then it it, it, it will bend and uh, like that it uh, it uh, works a uh, uh, black hole is very interesting uh, object uh, 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 that uh, video i uh, uh, that video is coming uh, soon about uh, my uh, my uh, uh, finding about black hole and uh, uh, light uh, interactions uh, uh, please uh, uh, i am an independent researcher um, i do not have any outside support i am independent researcher so i need uh, your support uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and please share my videos that way you can support me uh, your support is very important for me to continue my work i am putting so much effort uh, uh, in this my uh, 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 my effort so you can uh, support me and uh, if you if you like you can you can uh, use uh, youtube uh, uh, super chat also you can use that anyway i'm very thankful to you mm. so uh, in my channel you will find uh, different uh, 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 phenomena explanations for uh, explanations for different phenomena uh, please uh, do watch my videos please share my videos and uh, uh, support my uh, 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 i need your support i thank you um, thank you for my viewers uh, uh, um, if you have any any questions uh, please uh, you can ask me um, i was certain uh, you are asking me um, how to uh, what is evidence so uh, evidence or either uh, hi i was certain i, I uh, uploaded multiple videos describing how to detect either the evidence so either i have um, uploaded many videos in that in my channel please uh, do watch those videos and if you still have doubt you can come and i uh, will explain my level best
Facebook uh, page. Uh, I show you my Facebook page. You can follow me uh, my Facebook page also. I this is my uh, Facebook page.